Hey, what is up guys? It's Bruce Fertizzi here, back again with another Santa Fe Scorpions Dynasty video. And on week 13, it is our last regular season game of the year, as we face off against the 4-6 and six Rice Owls. Santa Fe, of course, is a 6-5 and five record right now, so they are bowl eligible, so this is not by any means our last game of the year. So taking a look at the Rice Owls roster right here, they have a couple stars on defense as they have Alan Willis, a 87 overall middle linebacker, and Bill Hayes, a 86 overall free safety. So that should be an intriguing matchup on defense as they have a couple stars over there. And then their QB is an 82 overall, Dale Jordan. And their running back here is a 79 overall, but it looks like he's injured. So it looks like they're going to have to start their backup running back, which is a 76 overall this week. So taking a look at the team rankings here, Rice on offense doesn't look the greatest, although they do have the 33rd passing offense in the whole entire nation with 243 yards per game almost. And on defense, it looks like they've been pretty bad on defense with basically all 80s or 90 uh, rankings, except rushing yards, they look somewhat decent on defense. But anyways, let's get into this game. And I also want to mention really quickly, this is a huge week for visiting prospects as we have a lot of um, very good prospects visiting us this week, including our basically number one overall prospect here, Travis Robertson, a four-star athlete, and also Brian McKeon, another four-star athlete, is visiting us along with Jalen Moss, a three-star wide receiver, and a bunch of other uh, prospects are visiting, but it's not showing up, but... Yeah, this is a really big week for us to um, gain advantage in the leads for prospect races. And looking at the injury report here, it didn't show that Dale Jordan, their QB, was injured, but apparently he has broken ribs, so he's going to be out. And also, their running back, like I mentioned before, Haynes, has a forearm fracture, so he'll be out of this game, along with the right tackle, so... Looks like really tough times for uh, Rice. But anyways, welcome to Santa Fe! Our last home game of the year right here. So let's make this a good one and win it out. So Santa Fe will be starting off on defense for the first drive of the game here. Let's see what Rice has in store for offense as Ellis will gain some yards. Stumbles forward and picks up more yards. 12 yards on the rush as that's a nice first carry for Ellis. Rice already in this hurry up offense, first and 10 after a nice rush by Ellis, and they'll go with the read option here, Ingram scrambles it out and he stumbles forward for more yards, if he never got tripped up he might have had a lot more yards or even a touchdown. So it looks like Rice really likes this pistol uh, formation here as they hand it off again to Ellis, but Rashawn Woods is there to meet him. Forces him out of bounds for a four-yard rush. So Troy Ingram's first passing attempt goes for an incompletion as that brings up a third down. Third and six for Rice here. Ingram looking around. They'll fire it out to his tight end in the flats. But that will be incomplete. Fourth and six. So Rice is going to try out the really long field goal here. Don't know how this is exactly going to work out in their favor. But they'll try anyways. And that will be way off to the right. So... Santa Fe will have nice starting field position. So Santa Fe will start off at the 40-yard line here after a missed field goal. And they'll be looking to do a lot better on offense after last week's horrible performance. But here, Johnny Morse will get six yards on the first rush. I also think that Santa Fe should tone down the running for Johnny Morris as he got injured last week by running it too much. But here, it's nearly intercepted as that was a nice play by their linebacker of getting inside the ball and batting it down. And just like that, Santa Fe is facing a third down. Here, Johnny Morris will fire it out to Bernard Smith who catches it for a lot of yards. 18-yard reception on the third down. Nice catch there by Bernard Smith. So after that nice reception by Bernard Smith here, Santa Fe will have a first down. Go with the jet sweep with Alex Noon, but it goes nowhere as he loses one yard. Sweep. Yards. Rice was all over that. Second and 11 here for Santa Fe. As Johnny Morris looking around to throw it. And he gets hit as he's trying to throw it out to Bernard Smith who was kind of open there. But that will break up a third and 11. So now for the second time this drive, Santa Fe is facing another third down. Johnny Morris looking around. Still no one opening. And Johnny Morris trying to break it out to the left. 
and he has a defensive end rushing after him. He'll gain no yards as Johnny Morris fumbles it out of bounds, fourth and 11. So both teams here on their first drive on offense, unable to do anything. Here, Ingram goes with a quick pass out to their wide receiver, Jacob Thomas, who gains three yards on the reception. Second and seven here for Rice, as Ingram looking around to pass it, and he'll dump it off again to their tight end, Morris, and he'll be just shy of a first down, third and one. Rice here facing a third and one. See what they'll do. Ingram looking around, he'll look to scramble here. McFadden misses a tackle on him. And Ingram will pick up 18 yards on the rush and the first down. So, so Rice, after picking up a huge rushing first down here, they'll hand off to Ellis, who will be just shy of another first down, eight yard rush for Tyler Ellis. And this hurry up offense is starting to wear down on this defense as they're not be able to get any subs out or tired. And they'll fire it in for Clint Frank. So Santa Fe's defense looking really tired out here right now as it's just been nonstop hurry up from this Rice offense. Moving it down the field. Ingram fires it out to an open receiver. Franklin again with another huge reception. 22 yards that time. So finally Santa Fe gets a breather. But Rice is now in the red zone at the 13 yard line. And they'll go with an option play out to Ellis. And Santa Fe is all over that. As Rashawn Woods tackles Ellis for a negative 2 yard loss. So Santa Fe here looking to stop Rice on offense. And Ellis will gain 5 yards on the rush. And I'll bring up a 3rd and 7 in the red zone now. So Santa Fe looking to prevent Rice to getting a touchdown here. 3rd and 7 for Rice on offense. And they'll just elect to hand it off to Ellis. Who will pick up the 1st down and just shy of a touchdown. Nice blocking upfield for him. And they'll be at the 1 yard line now. So Rice catches Santa Fe off guard and rushes for it on 3rd and 7. And here Ingram will rush it in for the touchdown. Rice now has the lead, 7-0. So Santa Fe looking to tie this game up on offense as they're down now by 7 points. Johnny Morris with the read option here, gets some nice blocks upfield. Looks like he'll gain 7 or actually 9 yards on the rush, so that'll bring up a 2nd and 1. So Santa Fe has been somewhat decent on offense so far. Obviously a lot better than last week as Lavelle Evans will pick up another first down as he rushes for 14 yards. Well it seems like the problem on offense for Santa Fe is they get past the 50 yard line and just stall out as here Alex Noon will catch that. That was a really risky pass as their star free safety. Haynes was just right there in coverage waiting to pick that off but Alex Noon is able to jump in front of him and catch that for a nice gain of yards. So Johnny Morris already doing a lot better in the passing game than last week. As here he'll fire it out to Alex Noon once again and he'll gain 8 yards on the catch. Santa Fe here just outside the 25 yard line looking to get this first down. As he'll go with the read option but uh, Rice is all over that for a negative 1 yard rush and they'll bring up a 3rd and 3. And that will do it for the first quarter. Rice currently up 7-0 over Santa Fe. But Santa Fe does have the ball at the 25 yard line right now. So Santa Fe facing already a crucial third down here. Third and three as Lavelle Evans is motioned out to the right. And Johnny Morris will find Alex Newton once again. Alex Newton's already been really good in this game. Picking up another first down for 19 yards. So now Santa Fe is in the red zone at the nine yard line. Let's see if they can do anything as Lavelle Evans tries punching it and he does. Eight yard rush off the read option from Lavelle Evans as Santa Fe ties this game up 7-7. So Rice now coming back out on offense. Santa Fe looking to stop them on defense as Ingram goes to play action and elect to scramble here. And he'll slide right before D'Angelo's able to make the tackle. Second and six here for Rice. After that nice rush by Ingram and they'll hand it off to Ellis off the draw. And he'll be just short so they'll bring up a third and two. Santa Fe looking to force an early punt from Rice here. Third and two, and they'll go with the option play. Pitch out to Ellis, and Titus D'Angelo's all over that. Negative two yard rush as Rice fails to get up the first down. So only after a two yard reception and second and eight, but Santa Fe looking to do more of the same as they score a touchdown last drive, and they'll find open another wide open Alex Newton. Alex Noon has been tearing up this defense as he gains a 25 yard reception there. And just like that, Santa Fe is onto Rice territory as they'll be looking for another pass here. Giant Morris not be able to find anyone. 
is has to get rid of it as a defensive end was just right there about to sack him. So Santa Fe really has to try to limit these rollouts by Johnny Morris because that results in him getting injured and hit. But here we'll fire it out to Bell Evans only for a one yard reception. So that'll bring up a third and nine. Alrighty, so it's third and nine here. And sorry if um stuff is wrong with the audio. I don't think the cord was fully plugged into the mic, so it might be sounding all messed up for that first portion, but it's all fixed now. But anyways, it's third and nine here for Santa Fe. Johnny Morris looking to gain this first down. Fired out to Glenn Saunders. Who will catch that? As a free safety jumps before him and Glenn Saunders all the way down to the goal line. What a huge pass there. So you see here on this last play here, Hazer star free safety. Tried jumping the pass and swanning it down but completely misses it as Glenn Saunders gets a huge catch and run all the way down to the goal line. Santa Fe now at the one yard line so one yard away from going up as they'll bring Colbert into motion in the easiest touch and Lavelle Evans will ever get. Santa Fe now up 14-7. So let's see if Rice has any answer on offense here as they go five wide here. Ingram looking around past it, and he'll fire it out as Maxwell will get an interception, and he'll get tracked down. But a nice play by Maxwell by reading that interception and jumping it. And Kevin Maxwell's just been awesome on defense these past few weeks. Been getting tons of interceptions. So after that interception, Santa Fe will take over at the ball at the 21-yard line, hand it off to Lavelle Evans off the counter. He'll stumble his way up for 8 yards on the rush. So unlike last week, Santa Fe not really having that much of a problem moving the ball on offense, as here we'll hand it off to Jovan Thurman, who will pick up the first down on a 5-yard rush. First and goal for Santa Fe as they're 9 yards away from another touchdown. Here we'll hand off to Lavelle Evans, and he'll inch his way up closer and closer to the touchdown, 6-yard rush. Second and goal here for Santa Fe as they'll try the read option. But their defensive tackle here will tackle Lavelle Evans in the backfield for a negative two yard rush. So that was a nice play by their defensive line. So it looks like Rice has been stopping the read option pretty easily this game. But here it's third and goal for Santa Fe. Johnny Morris will try to fire it in for Alex Newton. And he does hang on to the ball. So Santa Fe now going up 21 to 7. So Santa Fe will be back out on defense here again. As this Santa Fe defense has been amazing all game so far. Just lately coming up with an interception here. Ingram will fire it out to Ellis. And he'll break through a tackle here. And Pittman will finally track him down near the 50 yard line. Nice run and catch there by Ellis. So Rice back into this hurry up offense here. First and 10 for them. And Ingram here looking around. And he'll fire it in. That was a nice pass there to Thomas for a 7 yard reception. Besides that one interception, Ingram hasn't been that pa or terrible on the passing game as here he looks it up and he'll lob it out to Thomas again who will keep his feet in bounds. 20 yard reception for Jacob Thomas. So this Rice offense n not showing any signs of struggles after that interception but here they'll fire it out again to Thomas for his third straight reception. And now Rice is in the red zone here second and three for them. And they'll go with the option play. Ingram will run out, break through the tackle, but will get tracked down there. So Santa Fe has been nicely covering the option play this game. But here Ingram will run out of the pocket. And D'Angelo will try to tackle him. And he will stumble forward to the one yard line. So Ingram just carrying this team over to the end zone right here. First and goal as they're one yard away from getting another touchdown. Ingram looking around, and there's a wide open gap over the middle of the field. Marcus Smith with a one yard touchdown. And now Rice trims the lead by seven. So a very nice response there from Rice and Ingram on offense there as they get a touchdown right after throwing an interception. But here Santa Fe will have 33 seconds to work with before halftime as Johnny Morris will test Alex Noon down the field. And Alex Noon will get the huge touchdown. Santa Fe will go up by 28-14 now after that. So here Johnny Morris looking around just fires it deep down the field for Alex Noon who beat the safety over the field. No really coverage and the corner's not able to get him. Alex Noon with the 76 yard touchdown. Unbelievable game from him so far. And just like that Rice will be right back out on offense as Santa Fe answers her drive with a huge touchdown on the first play. And they'll hand off to Ellis here as McFadden will get him for no yards on the rush. So it looks like Rice will just run this clock out 
and let it hit halftime. Santa Fe up 28-14 at halftime and will be receiving the ball. So Santa Fe will be starting off with the ball for the second half of the game. And we find that we're trying to hit at Alex Newton right there. That was wide open. But Whitmore, the defensive tackle, sacks Johnny Morris on the play. Nice play by him. It seems like every single play, Alex Newton is just wide open. It's crazy. But here is second and long for Santa Fe. As Marcus Washington will somehow reel that in. 17-yard reception for Marcus Washington, somehow catching that over that corner. So what was a second and long turned into a third and one for Santa Fe. As we'll try out the read option, John Morris will easily pick up the first down. And he'll get tackled right before the 50-yard line. Six-yard rush. Santa Fe has been having so much better of a day on offense than last week. Here, John Morris scrambles out to his left. Fired out to Alex Newton, but it will be out of bounds, too much to his left. So that incompletion on first down will bring up second and ten for Santa Fe. And Rice coming out with a blitz, and that's almost intercepted, as that was intended for Jeffrey Cox on the corner out, but it's now third and ten. So Santa Fe has been five for six on third downs, looking to make that six for seven, as Johnny Morris looking around for an open receiver. And he'll try to just dump this off to Lavelle Evans while it's batted down on the defense lineman. So Santa Fe will have to punt it. So Rice now down by 14, taking over the ball for the first time in the second half. We'll start it off by handing it off to Ellis off the draw. He gains only 4 yards on the rush though. So after a 4 yard reception, it's 3rd and 2 for Rice here. So let's see if they can convert it. Ingram looking around. And he'll be sacked right there. Olivier Murphy. Again with another sack back to back week so so after forcing a quick three now on defense Santa Fe is now back on offense here and John Morris will hand it off to Lavelle Evans out into the flats and he has some nice rum up ahead 22 yard reception off a little dump off nice play right there so that nice catch and run by Lavelle Evans brings Santa Fe past the 50 yard line so we'll hand it off once again to Lavelle Evans, but only gains one yard on the read option. Second and nine here for Santa Fe, looking to get a first down. John Morris will hit Jeffrey Cox, breaks a tackle, and tries getting the first down. Will be just inches short, and that brings up a third and in inches. Third and in inches here for Santa Fe, as we'll do a read option. Johnny Morris breaks through a tackle and stumbles forward and gains the first down. Nice run there by Johnny Morris. First and ten here for Santa Fe. After picking up a first down once again, Johnny Morris testing out Alex Newton again, but that's batted down this time by Haynes as he tries contesting Newton on the jump ball. Second and 10 after that incompletion on first down, Santa Fe is looking for an open receiver and that's batted down once again. Everyone was locked up there and Johnny Morris had no option. So Santa Fe here facing another third down. Johnny Morris with a play action blitz sent by Rice and Marcus Washington drops a wide open pass. That would have been a first down, but Marcus Washington just dropping it once again. Well, Santa Fe will be going for it on 4th and 10 here, as they're too far away to make this field goal. Don't feel like punting it, so Santa Fe going for this. And no one is open. Johnny Morris tries scrambling out to his right. Just got to throw this ball over, and that'll be a turnover on downs. So poor execution on offense leads to Santa Fe coming back out on defense. Here they'll try out the counter to Ellis, and he'll get the first down and more. Nice rush by Tyler Ellis as he gains 16 yards. For Rice, they really need to score on this drive to make it a game as they motion their tight end out to the left. Ingram here, looking around, and he'll look to scramble, and he'll just get tripped up by his own offensive lineman. I believe Jamel McIntyre is credited with the sack there, but... Lucky break there for Santa Fe. So after Rice just ran into their own guy and was sacked. Second and 17 for Ingram in this Rice offense. And they'll try out a screen pass out to Ellis here. They get nice blocks. But Rashawn Woods is able to track down Ellis from behind. Only for a four yard reception. So now it's third and long for Rice. Third and 13. And they'll motion their tight end out to the left here. Ingram looking around. And he'll find open Franklin here, and he'll pick up the first down with ease. 14-yard reception by Clint Franklin. Second and nine here for Rice, after only getting one yard on the rush. Here, Ingram looking around, and he finds an open tight end Morris. 
after Rashawn Woods leaves him in coverage. So the Rice Owls are faced with another third down here. It'll be third and three, and they'll go with another option play. It'll pitch out to Ellis, and that'll be just short, fourth and one. And that will do it for the third quarter. Santa Fe up 20-14, heading into the fourth. And Rice now facing a crucial 4th and 1. So Rice will be going for it here. 4th and 1. Huge play right here if Santa Fe can stop them. We'll go with another option play. And we sack him in the backfield. Awesome play as they didn't pitch it out there. And we wrap him up Avery Randall. So Santa Fe will take over now on offense. Looking to put this game away. 1st and 10. And they'll try a read option of their own. Nice blocking upfield. Johnny Morris tries punching out to the right, but only gains four yards. This Rice defense has been shutting down our rushing game really good this game. Johnny Morris and Lavelle Evans not being able to do anything. But their passing game has not been good. But right there, Jeffrey Cox drops an open first down. And they'll bring up a third down. So another drop pass leads to a third and six for Santa Fe right here. Johnny Morris... Looking to fire out to Glenn Saunders in the flat scene and pick up the first down. Eight yard reception by Glenn Saunders. Thankfully someone doesn't drop passes here. Santa Fe looking to chew up as much clock as they can here in the fourth quarter. Try and run it down. And Santa Fe will be blitz here as Johnny Morris is sacked off that blitz. Nice call right there from Rice. So after throwing an incompletion on second down, Santa Fe is now facing a third and long. Third and 14 here for Santa Fe. Johnny Morris will just lob it up to Jeffrey Cox, and that's intercepted by Jordan. He breaks through a tackle here, and he has some rum running up the field. Weaves in and out, and luckily our offensive lineman tackles him. Well, that's a nice reception and return. Well, I was hoping Jeffrey Cox could just make the tackle, so it was basically a punt on that interception. But uh, Jordan there turns it into a nice gain. But Ingram here looking at score on offense, runs it out to the outside, and Rashawn Woods tracks him down. Allows him only a one yard rush. Woods has been doing an amazing game on defense. Just completely shutting down this rushing attack from Ingram. As Ingram looks for another open pass. He finds an open Franklin. And that will be a four yard reception. And bring up a third and four. So Rice facing another third down here. Pretty crucial for them to get it. Ingram looking around. And he'll fire it out to the sidelines and more. Or Thomas hangs onto that somehow after getting nailed by Skinner. What a cat. Jacob Thomas, their wide receiver, has been playing really good for them as they hand it off to Ellis. But Rashawn Woods again is all over that for another tackle for a loss in the backfield. So it's now second and 12 here for Rice. And he'll go with another handoff to Ellis and Woods is once again there for the tackle but they'll bring up a third and six so rice has been doing a pretty good job on third downs here today as they motion their tight end out to the right ingram looking around for open receiver and he'll try to take off here but he fumbles the ball but their offensive lineman jumps on it and it'll be a fourth and two but nice play still by Moore. and once again here rice is forced to go for on fourth down fourth and two for them and they'll hand it off actually here to their backup running man Tillman. And he'll easily pick up the first down as there's no one up the middle. So first and 10 after converting on fourth down. Rice is now in the red zone. Looking at score here. Ingram taking off again. He just shoves. Whoever that was just got ran over by Troy Ingram. Oh my god. But here he'll hand it off to Tillman. And he'll easily run it in for the touchdown. So Rice now trims down the lead to 21 to 28. So they're down by a touchdown. So Santa Fe still unable to put out this game. As they're only up by a touchdown now to Rice. As John Morris looking for an open receiver. And he'll way overthrow Alex Newton there. Luckily Hayes wasn't in position to intercept that. Because that was straight to him. So after a scary pass there. It's second and 10 for Santa Fe as John Morris rolls out to his left finds Jeffrey Cox and he'll catch it for the first down nice catch and run there by Jeffrey Cox and it looks like Rice is starting to use some of their timeouts as they burn their first timeout and here we'll just hand it off to Lavelle Evans he gets nailed though gains only two yards on the rush and another timeout from Rice Santa Fe facing a second and eight here with under two minutes left and Johnny Morris facing pressure from the D-line. Tries firing it out to Cox, but it's incomplete. So that'll bring up a third and eight. 
So that incompletion stopped the time. So that's basically a free timeout for Rice as they face a third and eight here. Santa Fe looking to try to put this game away. Will fire it out to Alex Newbuzz broken up. What a play right there by Hayes. Once again, all over that, and Santa Fe's poor Stefan. So after failing to convert on third down, punting the ball away, Rice takes over on offense, looking to tie up this game, but Jamel McIntyre's right there to sack Troy Ingram. Huge play there by McIntyre, as this is going to have to force Rice to spike the ball. So now they'll bring up a third and 15. So Rice here is at the 12-yard line, so they're going to have to drive down 88 yards just to tie up this game with one timeout left. They'll try a screenplay and Avery Randall's able to swat that down. Fourth and 15. Santa Fe can seal this game right here with a stop on fourth down. Ingram looking open and he finds an open receiver. Skinner gets burnt by their star receiver Smith. And they gain the first down on 4th and 15. So huge play by them as they're able to get the first down on 4th and 15. And they run out of bounds to stop the clock. 1 minute and 26 seconds to work with here. And they'll fire it out to their tight end Wilson. Sean was able to tackle him but he does gain a first down. So Rice now driving up the field with ease. And the clock will momentarily stop after getting a first down. Morris again on the reception, he just trucks through defenders here. Gains another first down. So that's three consecutive first downs here for Rice as they're moving the ball down the field with ease and they'll fire it again out to Franklin, but Titus D'Angelo is there to stop him before the first down. Just about a minute left in this game, second and one for Rice. They're looking to get this ball into the red zone and they'll find Thomas who's laid out there. I'm surprised he didn't fumble. So once again, Santa Fe allows another first down to Rice as they're just creeping closer and closer to this touchdown. And once again, Thomas with the reception. So second and six, and Rice Warrior will like to spike the ball, and that will bring up a third down. So it's now third and six for Rice. 40 seconds left. They're at the 19-yard line. Ingram looking around, and he'll just like to run it. And he gains a first down and more. But there is a flag on the play. This could be a real game changer. Foul. And it looks like he'll be going against Rice. Clipping on the play. So what a break that was for Santa Fe. As Rice gets clipping on the first down rush by Ingram. So now it's third and 21. They're backed up huge amount of yards here. And 33 seconds left for them to work. Ingram looking for the first down. Still looking. And Harrington will force the incompletion. Nice pressure by him. And here is what the game boils down to. Fourth and 21 for Rice. As they fire it out to their tight end, it'll be short. Santa Fe turns the ball over on downs and they'll win this game. And Johnny Morris in the Santa Fe offense can now just kneel down the ball. Run out the clock, and why are they even taking timeouts? That's so unnecessary. And Santa Fe just lets the clock hit all zero, and the game is over. Santa Fe has won this game 28-21. What a game that was, as there was a late push right there by Rice, almost threatening to tie up the game there, but if it wasn't for that penalty, who knows? Could have been a tight game going to overtime. So looking at the passing stats for Santa Fe, Johnny Morris had himself an amazing game on the passing side of the ball. Went 15 for 31 with 284 passing yards, two touchdowns and that one interception. And Santa Fe had a really bad rushing day as Lavelle Evans could only muster up 37 rushing yards. But he did at least add on two rushing touchdowns to that. And Johnny Morris had a terrible game as he had 15 rushing yards. Obviously, the sacks are factored into it, so he had a little bit more than that, but still, really bad uh, rushing game for Johnny Morris. But looking at the receiving numbers here, Alex Newton had the game of his life. Six receptions, 156 yards, and two touchdowns. Amazing game from Alex Newton coming off the last regular season game of the year. And looking at defense here, Rashawn Woods just put on a show as he had 10 tackles and two of them were for a loss of yards. So 
Rashawn Woods was just all over the field, preventing Ingram from getting first downs and any yardage really off of options and scrambles. So, And Santa Fe as a team had three sacks. Oliver Murphy, Jamel McIntyre, and Thomas Moore all had sacks. One of them came off when um, Ingram tripped up on his own offensive lineman. So really wasn't a sack by McIntyre, but he'll still take it. And Kevin Maxwell came up with the lone interception. Kevin Maxwell has been quietly putting up a really good uh, year so far on defense. He's been intercepting the ball a lot for Santa Fe, so really happy with his production. And looking at the right side of ball here, Troy Ingram had a really good passing day as he went 22 for 27, 230 passing yards, a touchdown, and an interception. So he had a really good uh, passing game and torched our defense. And here, looking at the rushing numbers for Rice, Tyler Ellis had a really pretty good game for uh, filling in for the injured running back, Haynes, as he had 64 yards, zero touchdowns. But Troy Ingram did have 44 rushing yards and a touchdown. He should have had more rushing yards, but obviously that clipping penalty was really costly. So what a way to end our regular season on our first year as the Santa Fe Scorpions. Santa Fe wins over Rice 28-21 in a really close game that came down to the wire. So that was a really crazy way to end off the year. But this will do it for Santa Fe for the regular season as they finish the year with a 7-5 record. Really good record for uh, Santa Fe in their first year. But in the next few weeks, we'll be playing a bowl game hopefully. And hopefully a pretty uh, good one too against a good opponent. And I don't think we'll be making the conference game since we do have Tulsa in our uh, division. So, and they have an undefeated record still. So, we will not be making out the conference USA West. But we'll be playing one last game on this year, which will be a bowl game. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much if you watched this video in its entirety. And I really do appreciate it. Like and subscribe if you haven't before. And be on the lookout for that next bowl game. Then after that bowl game, I should be posting a season recap of the year. And then we'll get into the offseason. And um, hopefully we'll get some really good recruits and stuff like that. But anyways, thanks again for watching. And until next time, peace out.